China is spending big to build bridges with other countries, literally. At least $1 trillion has been used to finance colossal infrastructure projects, Beijing's goal to reshape the global order. Cambodia is one of those countries seeing huge investments. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer reports from Phnom Penh. Cambodia is home to the magnificent ruins at Angkor Wat in the heart of Southeast Asia, ground zero in America's standoff with China. And it's here in one of the poorest countries in the region that China is buying influence on a grand scale. But you're asking them. Virat Wu is head of the Future Forum think tank. What's the difference between the way the Chinese invest in Cambodia and the Americans invest in Cambodia? The difference is Chinese are here. The Americans are not here. That wasn't always so. Take National Highway No. 4, now pitted and potholed. It was built by the U.S. 70 years ago before America's diplomatic priorities shifted to human rights. Meanwhile, China launched its Belt and Road Initiative with lavish projects, a bridge across the Mekong River, huge hydroelectric dams, and most recently, a flashy new road. This is the latest showpiece of China's multi-billion dollar investment in Cambodia. It's the country's only toll highway, and it's brand spanking new. There's a problem, though. The expressway is empty, far too expensive for the average Cambodian. And it leads to a ruined town, Sihanoukville. Once a laid-back beach resort, Chinese money has turned it into a bleak cluster of half-built high-rises and casinos plagued with organized crime. Cambodians have realized these big Chinese projects come with social costs, and they wish there was an alternative. We do not want communism. We do not trust authoritarianism. I think most of us still look toward freedom and democracies and these ideals. In Cambodian high schools, students still learn English as a second language, not Mandarin. Yesterday I went to the monkey, I bought... And young people especially admire American and Western values. But in this region, money talks, and China has put big piles of cash on the table. As the race for influence heats up, Cambodians are waiting to see if America will match it. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Phnom Penh, Cambodia.